Well, good morning from the shores of Lake Eleanor. This is Steve with my hiking buddy Gino. Good morning, everyone. And uh, we are in Mount Rainier National Park. And if we're here, some of you who have been up on this hike with me know where we're headed. Our destination today is Grand Park, which is a uh, large, relatively flat meadow that stretches about two miles long by a mile wide. And you walk straight toward Mount Rainier with just these incredible unobstructed views. But uh, we've been on the trail about a half hour, started a little before six, uh, came up a very rough trail to this point. And uh, there's actually a backcountry camp off this way that was closed the last time I was up here. But uh, today it's open. We see four bags of food on the bear pole. And we are gonna head off this way. So, um, one of my favorite hikes at the park, mainly for the views of uh, when you get up to Grand Park, and it's a it's a pretty good hike to take. So we'll check in, obviously, down the road, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for hiking with us. So just a little trail info. We have a descent we're on here. Um, start a little before 6. Uh, to access this trail, you come up Highway 410 and then turn off on a Forest Service road and it uh, goes about 10 miles to the trailhead and uh, it is rough in spots and uh, as Gina and I were saying it's pretty decent in spots it's a mixture of both um, in some spots we thought it was one of the best Forest Service roads we've been on and in other spots ugh, it was like a bucking Bronco but uh, anyway uh, all these hikes we've done this year that I filmed I'm always saying no bugs no bugs well our streak is over. The bugs are bad. Um, we've put on bug spray a couple times already. Gino just did it a third time and they are all over us. So um, that's kind of interesting. Um, and it was cool when we started about 49. Um, but anyway, that first uh, three quarters of a mile, it's a pretty rough trail. Um, there's, there's two ways to access Grand Park. This way that we're going which isn't really an official way, I don't think. The National Park Service prefers people come in from Sunrise and then go down through Berkeley Park. And uh, that's quite a bit longer than this route. And um, the trail we were on the first three quarters of a mile, it's an old fisherman's trail that goes up to that lake, Lake Eleanor. And uh, it's become kind of the, the popular way into back to Grand Park, the back door entry to Grand Park, as they say. So we're... Uh, Descending a little bit and we're going to enter a uh, mini Grand Park some people call it a uh, kind of a preview of the big the big thing up ahead here, so I'll catch you there um, We'll we'll see what uh, we see down there, and I'll tell you why I'm saying that when we get down there Okay, checking in a bit So we've reached the mini meadow which some people call mini Grand Park see Mount Rainier off in the distance there and uh, what we were hoping to see and it doesn't look like we're gunning is there's a small little pond over here that uh, has a lot of bear activity in the summer and uh, you read trip reports for this hike and people talk about seeing bears over here and mama bear with cub or a bear playing in the water but uh, so we kind of hesitated when we entered the meadow and looked and nothing there so kind of par for the course for us we've never seen a pair there so <laughs> that's okay we got uh, just a great view of Mount Rainier there and that's where we're headed down this trail we've got uh, probably the main part of the uphill to Grand Park is coming up we've got a stretch here we're going to exit this meadow at the end and go through the woods and uh, start ascending up. So we'll check in on the way. So we reached the uh, northernmost portion of Grand Park. You can see the trees are kind of disappearing here. Um, one thing I wanted to show you the trail bisects these meadows. Um, if you come up here, don't go off the trail. You don't want to destroy the the mountain flowers and foliage. So if you're ever up here, uh, just keep that in mind. As they say at Mount Rainier, don't be a meadow stomper. But uh, 
it's about 715 not bad a little over an hour and 15 minutes to get up here like I said we're gonna be pretty much level now it's a big flat plateau and uh, trees are gonna dissipate here in a minute and we're gonna have just some incredible views um, so I'll check in in a minute um, Gino's a little ways behind me here that last climb through the through the forest and then you go through that v-notch through the trees it's uh, pretty steep in spots so I got a little ways ahead of him but uh, he'll catch up gosh just a beautiful morning and we don't even have a view of rain here yet wait till you see that so more to come so we've just kind of, we're still meandering along here, and as you can see, there's Mount Rainier. Trail's going to go off this way and then make a long, we're going to come up that ridge off in the distance and go left, and then we'll have an unobstructed view. Um, grab my poles here. So, real interesting, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I swallowed a bug there, swarming. Uh, years ago, when I used to travel for work, um, many a trip uh, coming into SeaTac, we'd come over Rainier, and uh, one time we were coming in, and I looked out the window, and I saw this area. Had never hiked up here, and uh, my initial thought, because when you see the trees here that I'm filming, it, it looks like a golf course from up above. And uh, you know, I always joke when I come up here. It's like, uh, well, we've got this hole that kind of dog legs to the left here, but uh, it's just a spectacular place. Um, Grand Park is aptly named, but I'm sure you could call it uh, Spectacular Park or Awesome Park or Incredible Park, whatever superlative you want to use, because it is really a neat spot. So, Rainier and then Little Tahoma to the left. To the left of that is Mount Fremont with the lookout way up there that I tried to shoot a second ago. I'm not going to zoom in because it's too shaky, but uh, yeah, we still got better views to come. This is just a sneak peek. Just an incredible sp spot in Mount Rainier Grand Park. Still haven't gotten to the best view yet either, if you can believe that. It's just incredible up here, all the views. Um, I was going to mention the big un, uh, unsnow-covered rock face is known as the Willis Wall. Um, sometimes you see avalanches coming down, rockfall and stuff. So, uh, Boy, it's real warm up here in the sun. Uh, started out about 49 and it's got to be in the 60s up here. But... Uh, um, a lot of bugs, no people yet, and uh, this is why we go early. Views like this on a cloudless day. That's the other thing. This is a hike. Uh, I know some people come up here regardless of the weather, but uh, Gino and I and other people from work, Eric, Nick, and Jeff that I brought up here, we always try to pick a sunny, clear day, and, and that's the reason why what you're looking at right there, just, uh, just a great, awesome view. So, like I said, we haven't even got to the best part yet, so more to come. So we've got Rainier, Little Tahoma, and then uh, Mount Fremont, which has the lookout on top of it. Um, but we kind of go this direction for a while, and then, like I said, we're going to make a we're going to make a left turn up here, and the trail's going to turn left, and then we're going to be no trees in front of us and walking right toward Rainier. It's just just an incredible view. The other thing up here, straight ahead, you see some uh, uh, tree, uh, dead trees it looks like. Uh, it's called the Silver Forest. There was a, I believe there was a forest fire up here one time many years ago. And uh, it's either that or they died of natural causes. But uh, you see some of that up here. Still some flowers left, not, I don't know, I maybe expected a little more today, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll settle for the views of rain here. How's that? So, on the, on the trail in Grand Park, 
can't get can't get enough of that view. There's a shot of uh, the lookout tower on the top of Mount Fremont. Uh, that's a hike you can do out of sunrise. One of the four lookout towers within uh, Mount Rainier, old fire lookout towers within Mount Rainier National Park. And there's Rainier. And we are still heading to our turn. We still got some trees in front of us, but uh, stopped here by the Silver Forest. Um, some of these trees are dead, but uh, anyway, tough to stop this morning. I, I, I mean, I really like to stop to get pictures like this, but the bugs are just all over you. And we've both applied spray about three times and we're just getting swarmed. So it's tough to stop, but uh, we're, we're uh, you know, it's a trade-off. Uh, you're getting chewed up, but you, you got views like this so um, I'll take the views over the bugs so um, okay we're uh, we're nearing uh, in my opinion the best part of the, the trail through Grand Park and uh, we'll take some photos there we're going this way tough to turn off the camera on a day like today but I got to save some battery <laughs> okay just spectacular Gino, you haven't been up here in six years, as good as you remember? Sure is. Gino actually went up to uh, Oahai Lakes earlier this week and said uh, there's a lot more flowers up there than there are here. Seems to be uh, past the prime season here, so we're still making this long trek. Uh, I don't know, I think this plateau up here, this meadow plateau whatever you want to call it is a couple miles long and uh, so you enter on the far north end and we're going to the far south end so um, we still got a few trees to negotiate up here and uh, once we do we'll have that uh, unobstructed view of Rainier but uh, you can see here the trail it's kind of in this channel <laughs> through this meadow and uh, like I said earlier don't don't go in the meadows just stay on the trail don't need my trekking poles I'm carrying them here trails so level so more to come this is what we came for this is the uh, unobstructed view portion of the trail <laughs> isn't this isn't this nice just look at this trail goes off we're gonna follow the metal down to the far far end down there and uh, Gina and I were commenting a lot of people I think they uh, shake their heads when they hear how early we start but uh, we're the only two people up here this morning and uh, that makes it equally as special to us even more special when there's only the two of us up here and we have this uh, special area to park to ourselves um, some great views up here we're gonna have a good view of the main Grand Park Meadow it's gonna stretch off to our left here and I'll, I'll get it in a second but uh, just wanted to show you there Mount Fremont Little Tahoma Rainier with the Willis Wall we're in Grand Park isn't this isn't this a special place This is the big meadow at Grand Park, and uh, we're bisecting it. Tough to to beat these views. You just can't get enough of it on a on a clear late July morning in the Pacific Northwest. So we're just. I mean, if this doesn't motivate you to hike, I don't know what would, because uh, these views are second to none. Well, we're coming up to a dry wash, and uh, Gino and I have a secondary uh, goal today. A uh, fellow hiker, Ranger Gwen, lost her uh, glasses up here, and uh, she mentioned a couple spots, and we've looked, and uh, this spot up here, she mentioned she had um, had her lunch at, so Gino and I are going to 
do a little bit of recon. I contacted her and told her we were coming up here today and we'd uh, look for them. So, uh, don't know her, but uh, just trying to be a nice guy and a good fellow hiker and help out a fellow hiker. So, we're going to check out this dry wash. You can see it kind of here. See if we can find her glasses. But, uh, might be a lost cause, but uh, we'll give it a shot. This meadow is just incredible. And then way up there is the Mount Fremont Lookout. Okay, we're going to look for this uh, case of gla or glasses case and glasses down here in the dry wash. We'll uh, check in at the south end of the park here in a minute. Sorry, Ranger Gwen, the uh, search came up empty. So. We gave it a shot. No glasses. We'll uh, we'll look on the way back, and maybe we'll we'll look out. But uh, gosh, it uh, there's no breeze. So I noticed when we were looking and stopped for a bit, it really is warmed up here. So um, We'll film down there at the south end of the Grand Park when we get to the trail junction and uh, tell you what we're going to do next. So we reached the uh, south end of Grand Park and uh, as you can see uh, Berkeley Park is three miles to the right and the Northern Loop Trail goes to the right or left and we're going to go on the Northern Loop Trail Rainier now is in the trees and eventually when you descend down in Berkeley um, you see it again and then you got to ascend up to sunrise but over this way if you ever take this trail um, about a half mile down this northern loop is a spectacular viewpoint of Rainier and uh, those of you who follow me on YouTube or, or uh, Twitter my profile picture was taken up at this viewpoint um, so it's kind of uh, some people don't even know about it but it's about a half mile down the northern loop trail and uh, you got just another great unobstructed view of Rainier the White River and uh, another little special treat that we're gonna save till we get there to show you so we're now on the northern loop trail and uh, half mile so I don't know, about 10 minutes down this way, and we'll check in. Hope you're enjoying the hike so far. Uh, it lives up to its name, Grand. Uh, quite a bit of lupin down here. That's the purple flower um, as we head to the viewpoint. Uh, we actually said, uh, appears there's more uh, flowers in this section of the trail than there was in Grand Park, which was kind of interesting to us. The other thing is, uh, we've been in the shade here, and it's got to be about 20 degrees cooler. It feels nice after being out in the sun uh, in Grand Park, so we're almost at the viewpoint. Oh, uh, before I forget, uh, the Northern Loop, for those of you who are curious, it is a, uh, so the Wonderland Trail circles around Mount Rainier, 93 miles around the base of Rainier, and the Northern Loop is a offshoot on the northern side of Mount Rainier and it uh, you you take part of the Wonderland and to complete the loop and then part of it is uh, it's complete own separate entity so I've done the Wonderland and uh, the northern loop has been on the bucket list for a while but uh, haven't done it so I don't know maybe one of these years we'll see so we're almost at the viewpoint. Shouldn't be more than a couple minutes. We'll check in there. So one might argue that uh, Grand Park has some spectacular views, but uh, wait until you see this viewpoint. Um, this is on the northern loop. It's just a spectacular view up here. Trail cuts through the trees, and then we're going to be right on the edge of this uh, drop off. But uh, there's plenty of room, you're not in danger of falling or anything. But uh, wow, 
just a spectacular view. That's the White River down there. And there it is, Mount Rainier. A little Tahoma. Mount Fremont. And the special treat. Shoot, can we see it today or not? Oh, there it is. Yep. Hold on a second. Let me watch my footing. So way off in the distance. See that thing that looks like a cave? That's actually a natural rock bridge. Um, kind of like if you've ever been to Arches National Park. Um, it's like that, but it's made out of rock. Um, you can actually hike up to it from here, though. I mean, I've always said I wish I was a bird because it's probably three or four miles across this White River Valley. But from here, the trail kind of goes to the right and down about three or four miles, and then you got to ascend up to it. So it's from here, I've checked it out, it's probably 12 miles. So obviously not something that you can do. Well, you could if you're a uh, he-man or, or she-woman or he-woman or whatever you want to say if you're a strong hiker. But uh, for us, it's too far to go in one day. So um, just incredible. And the, the roar you heard down below is the White River. Okay, it's time for a break. We're gonna take some, have some water and refuel here and uh, enjoy the views. Check in in a while. You know, Gino, the bugs aren't too bad here. Yeah, oh, pretty good. Better than uh, most of the hike, anyway. Yeah, down there in the flat, you stopped. <laughs> and it was pretty bad, good. yeah. Bad, bad, bad. Well, I was saying when I first started filming that I uh, would love to get over to that natural rock bridge someday, but it's probably 10 miles from here. We'd have to do an overnight, I think. Boy, there's not a breeze at all up here. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you one last look from the viewpoint here. There's Mount Fremont with the lookout tower. We've got Burroughs Mountain, Skyscraper Mountain in front of Little Tahoma, Mount Rainier with the Willis Wall. Oops going this way so you can see the White River down below us and way way off in the distance the natural rock bridge that looks like a cave so our break here is done God just a beautiful morning we're gonna head back up the trail and uh, head back through Grand Park the the one thing I was gonna mention I think I mentioned a couple times you can access Grand Park coming through Sunrise and Berkeley Park the the only thing there is uh, Mount Rainier's at your back. So the way we came in from uh, via Lake Eleanor, the back route, as you can see in the video, Mount Rainier's right in our face the whole way. So uh, once you get up to Grand Park, so uh, this is the way we prefer to go. So, okay, we're going to start the long trek back to the car and we'll uh, check in along the way. Definitely see a hell of a long ways away. Yeah, we were just talking here. We're back on the trail to through Grand Park. Um, what time is it, Gino? 8.32. 8.32. Our tea time is like in 10 minutes here. We've got a tea off. Doesn't this look like a golf course? <laughs> um, we're guessing at least 20 hikers, and uh, usually on the way back, we put our neck gaiters on. And uh, I just told Gino, I said, well, while we're in Grand Park, we've got this, as you can see, view for quite a ways, and no one is on the trail. So, so we're going to wait and uh, just wait and see, and then if we see someone, we'll put them on. But uh, once we get out of Grand Park and into the forest, we'll be a good time to put them on. But we just thought through here, uh, we'll wait. So um, one thing to remember, if you do this hike... Um, 
make sure you turn around because Mount Rainier is on your backside now. So, so we'll do that as well up ahead here. But uh, yeah, so far we haven't seen anybody. We're guessing about 20 people. We'll uh, keep you posted on that. From Grand Park. So like I said, don't forget to turn around when you're up here hiking. We've noticed there's a bit of a breeze blowing now that we're back in the meadow here. So, uh, so far the temps are, seems a few degrees cooler and the bugs are staying away for a bit. So we'll keep our fingers crossed that we have that through the, the length of the meadow here. But uh, we're, we're working our way back, but uh, always got time to turn around and look at Rainier. Still working our way through the meadow. Kind of the last spot where we're going to have the unobstructed view of rain air, so we've taken a short break here to just uh, take it all in. We're heading this way. Gino commented that the trail through Grand Park, it's like a channel. It's uh, one of the deeper uh, cuts that we've hiked on. Um, kind of tell it's got years of use. Um, very narrow, so uh, almost can't put two feet next to each other on the thing. One foot in front of the other, as they say. But uh, we're in the northern part of Grand Park. It's just uh, just a spectacular place and on a spectacular morning. Um, so we are coming pretty quick here. We're going to go up in the trees ahead. We're going to start descending out of Grand Park. Well, we still got a ways in Grand Park and then start the descent and uh, still no hikers. So we'll see. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, the wind, there's a breeze. Not a wind, but more of a breeze, and uh, the bugs have gone away. So we're keeping our fingers crossed that stays with us for a bit, so. That dry wash is right there. It actually kind of meanders through Grand Park. We were looking in it where it crosses the trail down below for the Ranger Gwen's glasses, but uh, it actually kind of comes all the way up here. So we're fast approaching the northern terminus of Grand Park, so we'll take one last look at Rainier here. Um, and it's been a great visit. I think this is my uh, sixth or seventh time up here, and Gino's second. And uh, I think every time we come up, it's, uh, I know for myself, it's uh, at the top of the hiking list. And especially on a day like today. So... For the last time from Grand Park, but not the last time filming, we'll uh, check in on the way down. But uh, this is the last view we're going to have, and uh, we're going to start our descent here. Gino's putting his gator on, so I have to too. So uh, more to come on the on the trail back to Lake Eleanor, and then back to the car. So we've reached the mini meadow. It's about 9:30, and you can see a big group of hikers headed this way off in the distance. We've seen five hikers so far, um, all of them from when we exited Grand Park to uh, this section through the woods, uh, a couple of women, a solo senior guy, and then uh, a young couple, and uh, the senior guy was quite funny. He, uh, he saw us and he goes, bare arms, bare legs, you guys are brave. He was wearing a long sleeve shirt and a long sleeve or uh, pants, and uh, he might have had a bug net too, but he was really um, geared up to prevent bugs. So the young couple told us, I think Gino and I, we told them we've put on bug spray about four or five times, and they've said they've already done it twice, but uh, we were kind of giving them some trail bed at Beta. They've never been up here, telling them to make sure to go to the end of Grand Park, and I think... Gosh, is this this group of women we keep running into when we're hiking all the time? We'll see um, when I pass them. So, 
more to come. So the update, that is not the group I thought it was. We've, uh, this summer we've been hiking and we keep running into a group of uh, senior ladies that uh, are always on the same trails we are and they, they start after us and there's five of them. And uh, so here comes this group of five senior ladies and I thought, oh geez, it's at them. So I finally, I asked them, I said, uh, are you so-and-so? And they said, no, they weren't. So, um, but anyway, so we're up to 10 all of a sudden as we go through this meadow and then uh, we got our last little bit of climbing today. Um, we're gonna climb up, uh, kind of up to the, up this ridge here and, and then go, go, go to the lake and then descend back to the car. So we'll uh, check in at the lake. Um, but uh, boy, it is warm here in the sun. And there's no breeze down in here, so kind of a mini meadow. One other quick story for you. So the, the last time Gino and I came up here, I had my uh, Xterra, and we came up the, the dirt road and parked and got out, and Gino said, I, I hear something. And uh, so I'm off looking in the bushes for an animal, and he goes, oh no! And uh, my right rear, I'd hit something and it pancaked in a hurry. So, you know, you kind of decide, do you hike and fix it at the end or fix it and hike? So we decided to hike and fix it and uh, it, was a, it was a chore because on Nissans, they, with an undermount uh, spare tire under the frame, they put a, um, a hole in your bumper that you gotta stick the the rod that you use to pump up the jack in through and engage the screw and turn it to lower the tire and we couldn't engage it and it took took about a half hour and uh, it was quite an adventure so when we got out today I told Gino no no leaking tires so anyway we're gonna start this climb here we'll uh, check in back at the lake well, we're at uh, Eleanor Lake. Um, what time is it, Gino? 9.57. Okay, almost 10 o'clock. We've been uh, taking our time on the way back. We've been talking to people. We met this young couple that was jogging, and he's not wearing a shirt. They are running up to Mount Fremont. They're going to go through Grand Park, Berkeley Park, take the Wonderland, and, and run up to the top of Mount Fremont, the lookout I took a photo of earlier. And then they're going to come back. They're parked out next to us. So he told me it's 20 miles and they think they'll be done at 4 or 5 this afternoon. <laughs> um, just incredible. And we were kind of laughing because he's not wearing a shirt. And I thought, geez, he's going to get chewed up. Although he's running fast, he probably won't, <laughs> probably won't get bit up too much. So, okay, we'll check in one last time before we get to the cars. We're up to 17 hikers. And uh, we're, heading, we're heading back probably about 20, 20 minutes to the car. So we're in the last little stretch. We're exiting Mount Rainier on the trail and uh, we're in the last little stretch before we get to the the road and the car and uh, so here's the update. First off, Gino, what time is it? 10.23. Um, so gosh, we started at a little before six, so about four and a half hours. We have seen, believe it or not, we saw 17 hikers to uh, Lake Eleanor, between Grand Park and Lake Eleanor, and on this three quarters of a mile stretch down to the parking lot, we've seen 24. So we're up to 41. Um, that's why we start early, boys and girls. But uh, anyway, beautiful day. Um, we were talking, uh, boy, in the sun, it's real warm, but here in the in the woods and when you're shaded, it's real nice, very pleasant. Um, bugs haven't been too bad on the way back down, so. We're happy about that. So, anyway, um, let's see what else. Uh, probably did a little over eight miles today. Um, everybody's been asking us if we camped up here, and then they they were very impressed at how early we started. But uh, that's the way it is for Steve and Gino. So, cars are lined up. Uh, it has a very small I'll show you here. Very small parking area, and then uh, the so there's the parking area, 
and then up the road there's cars parked quite a ways up there um, a few people like I said asked if we had camped because they saw the cars and uh, anyway well so completes another journey as we uh, cross over Eleanor Creek you can hear it flowing here and uh, hope you enjoyed this one like I said it's one of my favorite hikes in Mount Rainier and uh, until next week wherever our journey may be we'll we'll see you then thanks for hiking with us